Alex Wilford is nearly one semester into his term as ACC president. CalTV caught up with him to talk about his office and recent issues. I wanted to now shift our attention towards something that's been happening on campus, mm. making headlines on the Daily Cal and making its round on social media. I'm curious to ask, um, to, to wonder if you've seen this photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have? Yeah. The photo, shared over 300 times on Facebook, has populated various student group pages. It depicts members of Fiji mocking students protesting sexual assault, some calling for boycotts of frats. The fraternity is not officially recognized by the campus, unlike the other 63 fraternities and sororities, all of whom are required to undergo workshops and trainings. It's frankly disgusting. Um, it's uh, a photo that um, shows how much that community needs to work uh, on addressing and, uh, the climate in the community, uh, on making sure survivors feel supported, um, addressing issues of um, toxic masculinity within that community as well. Um, you know, in, in the wake of such an uh, impactful um, and really d hard, partisan, divisive, um, and, and, and difficult time for survivors with the Kavanaugh incidents, um, no, no individuals in our community should be um, in any way disrespecting or mocking um, those, the, the, the trauma or the, the experiences of survivors. Wilford says the image demonstrates how much growth has to happen in Greek life. He says the individuals involved need to be held accountable. I think as a community center last year, I think this was, this was a conversation that came up and, and, and we um, really tried to see where the ASUC's role is in this. Um, obviously the Greek community and, and specifically IFC is a different, um, they're, they're not um, recognized by the university. So uh, w there is you know, certain uh, things that we can and we cannot do, but uh, I think it's really important um, for, for me as someone who's seen this consistently that we finally see something happening, um, that we finally um, continuously um, support survivors, we implement su survivor-centric policy, um, and that we work with the community leaders like PHC and GASA who are already doing that work. Wilford says he believes the alleged incidences of roofing and assault happen in Cal's Greek community. Uh, and I think that needs to change. Um, and, you know, I think there are, um, there is work being done, specifically Panel and Council has been doing work on this. Um, GASA has been doing work on this. Um, IFC has slowly started to do some things, but um, it's not enough. Uh, and we need to make sure that every member in our community feels safe, every member in the Cal community feels safe. Um, we're also implementing um, accountability standards for RSOs as a whole around sexual violence, around um, alcohol and drug safety, and around mental health, um, because uh, we want to make sure that every RSO on this campus, so every registered student organization, every community on this campus is addressing these issues adequately. That starts with the Greek community, um, but I, uh, that's something that we want to do uh, as an ASUC uh, holistically as well. Wilford emphasizes that this is not a new issue. This, as we all know, has happened before. What is within the ACC's reach that can be done? The thing with the ACC is um, we um, don't sponsor Greek organizations. Um, there is one um, scholarship, and that's something we're seriously looking at, whether that money should be put there or somewhere else. Um, but as an ACC, we can call uh, on community leaders to take action um, and pass bills. But there's all, it's really hard because we, you know, we want to firstly respect community leaders and respect the individuals who have been doing this work. Um, and as an ACC, we're there to support those individuals. Um, but also as an ACC, we need to be looking out for the safety of every student on this campus. Uh, and I think that um, we will be there to advocate for, for survivors in that community and, and, and as a whole. Um, and I think we will um, not be silent about this issue. This is among the many other issues his office is tackling. Next, we move on to his particular office, which he assumed less than a year ago. It's been a really uh, interesting start to the semester. I think we've had a, um, a lot of um, change in the ACC already. I think we've been seeing a lot um, of advocacy happening, um, but uh, we've just been kind of getting the office rolling and getting our policy initiatives um, pushed through. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the rest of the semester holds. His recent projects include the Student Advisory Committee, Campus Climate and Safety, Student Fees, and the larger Berkeley community. He's also got his eye on reforming the ASUC itself. We, uh, we changed our outreach policy to make sure that we're actually engaging our communities, requiring senators and executives to have town halls um, to meet with community leaders uh, as mandated in our bylaws, uh, rather than just having um, sitting on Sproul and, and you know saying that we're part of the ACC. So uh, that's exciting. And then you know just a third one that I, w I would mention is um, our advocacy around an international student fee hike. So 
the university wanted um, provides core services when it comes to acquiring visas for international students and they wanted these international students who already pay huge amounts of tuition to pay an extra hundred and twenty dollar fee um, and we pushed back on this um, we organized and, and made sure that um, we were fighting for these international students so they didn't have to pay this fee and, and that was something that we worked with uh, with community leaders and, and these students so uh, I'm excited that we stopped that and we made sure that not only did the fee not go up but we removed the fee entirely he says he hasn't suffered any major losses yet but there's always room for improvement um, Luckily, right now, uh, ad administration has been fairly receptive. The ACC as a whole is doing some great work. So um, I think we're, uh, we're only uh, scoring some wins right now. Thomas Maglonia for Cal TV News.